What's up? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Tyler. I'm a part-time reseller out of Texas. I go to garage sales, estate sale, thrift store, you name it, to buy stuff, to find stuff to buy for cheap and put it online to make a profit. Right now we are in the eBay layer, uh, doing some listing, all kinds of other things. I'm playing a little Tiger Woods 2010 here on the PlayStation 3. I just wanted to bring you guys in today and uh, show you the new bench. Yeah, we got everything done. It's all up. If you're if you're coming back from previous videos, welcome back to the channel. Um, so basically, um, just kind of having a little fun here this morning while I ate my breakfast, playing some Tiger Woods 2010, one of the best games ever made. Every year of it's awesome, even the original versions. This game is amazing. If you love golf, you'll love this game. Uh, just got through cleaning a disc here. It's not Ultimate Alliance. It's actually Ultimate Alliance 2. Uh, it worked just fine, but the disc was pretty scratched. So I buffed it. Um, got it looking pretty again. And just going to take it off, clean it, test it one more time to make sure it still works after I buffed it. Then get that bad boy listed on eBay. But we still have um, this box of games over here to list. Uh, I'm going to be listing the PlayStation 2 today. That, since I have the backwards compatible PS3 now that I'm keeping, uh, this is going to go up on eBay. And then we have uh, some old vintage games over here that I'm going to list all in one lot and just sell all of it at once. And then we have the games and then we have some more of the wrestling stuff to, to list. I'm going to list the two rings today as well as the extra characters that were in uh, that that was left over in that box. The three lots, 50, uh, lots of 15 uh, wrestling figures that are up on the eBay now um, those are up for auction and still kind of doing what they were doing yesterday just kind of hovering it's a seven day auction, so people are going to kind of wait till the last minute to start bidding. Uh, I imagine I'll get a few bids here and there from new people that come in and see the auction um, up until the final day. So, um, super excited to see what those sell for. But let's show you guys the bench. Let's kind of show you how I, I kind of want to show you guys how I have things set up right now. Um, one thing I think I'm going to do is down here at the bottom where this shelf is under here. I'm going to remove this shelf. Um, this is taller than right here um, in the shelf, the JFJ Easy Pro. So I'm gonna remove this shelf, take it out, put it in the garage. That way I can store bigger stuff down here. And I'm gonna get a tub for all of my extra um, video game stuff like controllers. All of the Xbox 360 controllers down here work. I just need to get a um, power cord for my Xbox 360 to test everything and test them thoroughly to make sure every button works. You don't want to list these older controllers. Just a little hint for you guys. Do not list older controllers with fully testing them to make sure they're functional because if one button doesn't work you're going to get a ref you're going to get a return no matter what but just fully test your controllers guys. Then I have some PlayStation 3 controllers that don't work. I think they need new batteries. So I gotta get some of those ordered today. I think I've got four PS3 controllers that need new batteries. I'm gonna get those ordered today and um, change those out next week sometime. But yeah, gonna remove this shelf. There's no need for it because I have bigger stuff I need to store down here. There's no need for this big shelf. Either that or I can move it up a notch. I might try moving it up a notch first and just storing small stuff on the top shelf and then seeing if that JFJ Easy Pro will slide right underneath it. We'll see, but uh, yeah, that's one one thing I wanted to mention to you guys. But 
this thing is amazing uh i do recommend this thing 100 percent. it is a really nice setup and it is a ton of working space as you guys can see i plan on getting a laptop mount for it to sit right up here on the wall there's a, a mount you can buy that that goes onto the wall and it hovers over a little bit like this and you can put your laptop to where it sits up at an angle and that will free up all of this right here right and then when i'm not listing and i'm testing games doing stuff over here i can be taking pictures of big stuff when garage sales come back and i'm buying bigger items i'll have this whole area right here to take pictures and uh yeah there's a little uh, motivation right there list 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 uh i need to get stuff up on ebay i need to get listings up i need to start um I need to get the store back full, man, because I've only got like 349 listings right now, and I like to be around 500. So, yeah, guys, pretty cool just getting some stuff done, but uh, let me show you guys how I have everything set up here. I just got some random stuff in this drawer. I'm going to organize it a little bit better once I um, get everything kind of out of where it needs, from where it needs to be and put it up. But yeah, I've got cleaning materials in these drawers and all kinds of stuff over here but going to get it more organized later but there's some you know there's my typical shipping stuff got the roller printer on the very end of the table i might see if the wife doesn't mind i might end up moving this down here so that will free up this whole end of the bench but uh for right now i'm keeping it there <clears throat> and then this is just an empty drawer like i there's so much storage space on this guys i don't really have enough stuff right now to put in these but i think what i'm going to do is um actually dedicate these drawers like one of these drawers to a death pile of like decent video games maybe like just throw some decent games off in there every once in a while like one of these drawers like this and just have them as backup so that if i ever need to list some good games and um you know i don't have anything to list i can have stuff in here that is needed i figured i'd keep the scale in here for now um, because i only use it when i'm shipping so there's no need to have it out on the table all the time and it's wireless so i just it's battery operated I just pull it out throw it on i can throw it on this table here and then just weigh, weigh my packages as i ship them out cleaning supplies stuff in this drawer gloves all that good stuff then over here these are really cool i wanted to show these to you guys yesterday when i was at uh sam's club i found these and they're just whoa it's bright um they're really bright lights so when i have stuff that has really bad shadows i ordered two lights off of uh, amazon the other day but when i have um items that i'm trying to list that have really bad shadows i can put this on it and uh see we'll, we'll show you with the pepsi can here how it works but I've got two of them. And they're also magnetic. They'll, they'll stick to something as well. So that's cool. So you see how that kind of takes the shadows off of everything. You just kind of move it where you want that back shadow to be. Right behind the can. And then you can take your picture there. Looks really good though. Uh, these lights are really bright. And uh, they work. they're rechargeable. So you don't have to put batteries in them and they're a th thousand lumens um they were 20 bucks at sam's club and i think they were well worth the purchase and they will come in handy here is my psp so when i'm back here bored and need something to do i got a psp to play as well i kept that other psp from the playstation uh two by with all the playstation 2 games there was two PSPs in that group. I sold the first one for like 75 bucks and I kept that one because we travel a lot when there's no virus <laughs> in the wild. Um, we travel a lot and that will be fun to have to travel with. Um, the wife really wants a, a Nintendo Switch, which I think, which I think I'm going to get her pretty soon. Uh, just waiting for the price to go back down on them a little bit because they're, they're sky high right now. Um, here's another PS3 controller. Needs to be fixed. Got a bad battery. There's some games in this stack here. Um, 
Sega Dreamcast games and stuff like that that need to be tested. Um, I don't have a Sega Dreamcast right now, so I can't really test them. Sega Dreamcast is probably, you know, Sega Dreamcast, Sega CD are the two games systems that I will not list games, even if the disc looks great. Um, sometimes there's little tiny pinholes that you can't see with the naked eye and the game will not play. So I never list Sega Dreamcast games unless I have a Dreamcast to test it. Um, but yeah, this extra stuff in this drawer, this bottom drawer is all of our, all of our cleaning supplies for the JFJ Easy Pro. Uh, we got our buffing pads, sanding pads. Uh, I got a box over here that has a bunch more stuff in it that I need to move into this drawer. But yeah, I ordered some more buffing pads the other day off of eBay and I need to order, I want to order like a gallon jug for these things. So I'm not having to order this so often, but, uh, yeah, I haven't found gallon jugs yet. Supposedly there's a, um, there is a solution from Walmart that you can buy that is like 10 bucks. That stuff is expensive for two of those bottles, like $39.99, but I can get a huge jug of the same kind of stuff at Walmart for 10 bucks. So I'm going to try that stuff out here pretty soon. I'm going to go pick some up. We got this little kit right here. This actually came with my camera when I bought it. Um, for those of you that don't know, I shoot videos on the um, Canon G7X Mark II. Uh, it's a really good camera. And I, when I bought it, it came with a bunch of extras. And that's like a cleaning kit with a little tripod and screen protectors and stuff like that. So um, haven't used it yet. Don't really need to because my camera doesn't get that dirty. But yeah, pretty cool. Got the GoPro down here and let me put this over here as well. Uh, got the GoPro down here with the backpack clip for when garage sales come back. We have everything we need to go out and hit garage sales and film them for you guys. I will be getting a new GoPro in the future. I'm going to get like a seven or eight uh, in the future because the quality of the three plus just is not there. It's not where I want it to be for my videos. So, um, yeah gonna have to get a new gopro sooner or later but anyways um, we have cleaning supplies here magic erasers for those of you that that clean a lot of uh, like vintage video games that have marker on them if you don't have ma uh, mr clean magic erasers in your inventory you need to get some these things are amazing and they will clean off they will make a vintage um cart look brand new when you use these so pretty cool it's almost like sandpaper, it takes a little layer off and makes it look really nice. So batteries, AAA, AA, um, Q-tips, all that good stuff. My wife bought me a box of Q-tips because I kept using all of hers. <laughs> uh, broken PS2, actually I don't even know if this is broken, I haven't even tested this yet. I need to test it. Um, the guy said it was broken that I bought it from couple of things here I did I, I ended up looking this game up right here it's not a game it's like the like the welcome to PlayStation 3 disc it's not worth but like five bucks so I'm gonna hold on to it maybe in the future it'll go up in value but here's a uh, AV to HDMI um, uh, adapter GameCube controller for when I test out um, Nintendo Wii and on the top of the Nintendo Wii's they have the um, where you can plug in the GameCube controllers, and I always just test those ports with that. Um, and also, if I get GameCubes that have no controller, I can use this to test. And it's it's all jacked up. Someone used like glue or something to fix it, and it's all messed up. So that's why I haven't sold it. So I'm just gonna keep that for testing purposes. But yeah, guys, that's it. Oh, forgot to mention over here on the side, I I got this. Um, this is a surge protector from Lowe's. It has like 15, not 15, I'm, I'm exaggerating. It has 10 sockets on it to where you can plug stuff in. And I don't have to move this every time I want to plug something in. It's just right here on the side. I have, <laughs> I'm a pretty tall guy, I have long arms and I can reach in and plug whatever I need to in. So all this stuff right here is plugged in right now with ease and has no issues at all. Um, but yeah, super happy guys with everything here. Uh, the shelf looks really good with this, with it, with it kind of goes really well with this. Uh, I'm going to get another shelf. I want to find one that's just like this one that will go along the whole top of the bench. And that, I think that will look really cool. 
But uh, yeah, guys, let me get this disc cleaned off. I'm gonna test it, make sure it still works. But our goal today is exactly what this says right here. List, list, list. My goal is to get 40 games listed before the family wakes up and we have to go in there and spend some time with them. So uh, I'll bring you guys in from time to time over here on what I'm doing. And um, uh, I'll bring you guys in from time to time over here um, and kind of show y'all what I'm doing. But yeah, just gonna get this cleaned off real quick and test it and make sure it works. So give me one sec. Guys, I want y'all to see this thing, man. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. You can probably tell though. That thing is perfect. It's got some little minor scratches on it. Some little minor scratches here and there from the buffing pads. But this thing was destroyed, man. It still worked, but it was destroyed. It had scratches everywhere on it. But now this is a sellable game. Um, but uh, disc only with it doesn't have the right case with it. But disc only on this game here, uh, worth about eight bucks. So we'll probably list it for eight ninety nine free ship. And um, after all said and done, after shipping costs three dollars, we'll be at about probably four dollars and fifty cents profit um, on this game. I don't care. I will list any game no matter what it's worth. If it's really really cheap, I'll lot it together. Like racing games and sports games, I lot together and uh, sell them, they sell all the time. Um, people that like sports games for the old consoles, they don't just wanna buy one at a time, they'll actually buy lots of 10 or 15 or whatever. So if you have tons of sports game and you're not listing them because they're cheap, lot them together. Um, put 10 in a lot and sell it for 20 bucks and somebody will buy it. Yes, so I'm listing this game, I'll make $4.50 off of it. But if you think about it guys, how many games do I list in a month, right, at, at this price? Think if I'm listing 200 games a month at that price. That's that's $800 in that month that I wouldn't make if I, if I was one of those guys that don't list games, you know, under $5 or under, oh, excuse me, under $10. There's a lot of guys out there that won't list games under 10 bucks. And it's not that the game's not, not, um, sought after just because it's cheap that doesn't mean that the game isn't wanted it just means that it was mass produced and there's tons of them out there um so it, it's not that people don't want that game people still buy these games people still play all of these games just because it's a little bit less valuable does not mean don't list it because somebody's gonna want it Somebody out there is going to want it. You got to remember guys on eBay, we're reaching out to millions of buyers. And that's the great thing about eBay is there's so many people that go to this platform to look for games and stuff like that, that it makes our, our, our selling pretty easy. Um, so I'm going to test this game real quick. I'll bring you guys in over here so you can see. And typically on games for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, all that stuff. I will put it in, make sure that it loads and it gets me into the game where it plays because I don't have time to sit here and play every game all the way through to make sure the whole game works. The odds of someone buying this game and beating this game are very slim. They're probably gonna play it for a couple hours and then put it up and play it a couple hours in a few months and spread out their time on it. They're not gonna play it as soon as they get it, they're not just gonna beat the whole game. Some people will, but most people won't. Um, I just gotta test to make sure it gets inside of the game. And one in a million guys, like literally, I'd say one in 400 games, somebody returns to me because it, it freezes an hour into the game, you know? So not that big of a deal. Um, as long as this thing loads and gets into the start of the game and I can run around and hit people and do, do my thing, this bad boy is going on eBay. So uh, just just kind of give you guys some insight on how I list my games and what qualifies as a good game to list on eBay.
them in just through the truck. All right, so it works great. Um, no issues at all. Now we'll throw this one up on eBay. And that is two games listed this morning. Um, I listed one that I knew was good. Uh, that was a very had a very nice disc on it. And uh, the discs were actually near mint. They were super nice. Uh, but yeah, get this thrown in the case real quick. Get this bad boy up on eBay. So um, I'll bring you guys back in from time to time and kind of show you all what I'm doing. Uh, but enjoy the rest of the video, guys. All right, guys, so I'm bringing you back in here. Um, we have gotten a lot of games listed. We've gotten a lot of games cleaned. Uh, just kind of show you our progress for the day. Um, so I'm actually cleaning a game right now. Uh, I think it's Army Men 2 is the game I'm cleaning right now. Got the blue buffing pad on there, about to start that. Um, updating my PS3 for the MLB 10 The Show. This is an amazing game. Uh, if you're a baseball fan, super fun game. Uh, so just updating it so I can play it for a little bit and Kind of just uh, playing a little bit listing some games and getting some stuff done This is pretty cool. I found this in the box of games over here um, This is a SOCOM US Navy SEALs headset with the game So I'm gonna list that here in a second probably I imagine it probably goes for about $15 or so I'm not really sure never sold one before but uh, these are all the games we've gotten listed right here so these are all the games right here we've gotten listed right there uh, Wipeout 2 you wouldn't think but uh, that is a uh, pretty popular game actually and it's worth a little bit of money um, I didn't know I thought I, don't, I thought that was a Wipeout 1 but it's Wipeout 2 I need to check the value on that because it might be more but it's actually like a decent game 10 15 dollar 10 12 dollar game but yeah, got all of these games listed so far. Uh, got all of these games left to list. This is the complete uh, rest of the box that we have over here. Uh, this is the rest of the games that are listable. Everything else over here uh, either is badly damaged disc, uh, case is missing the manual, or it's all cracked and smashed, or it's missing the game completely. I think we had like four cases that didn't even have a game in them at all but not really a big deal guys because I've, st I've still got about I'd say at least 50 60 games listed on eBay right now that haven't sold and we've already sold about 20 or 30 games uh, we're two I, I, I tallied it up we are two hundred and eighty seven dollars and forty seven cents into this purchase uh, that's what we've sold on eBay so far we want we, we paid two hundred dollars for the entire box of games so that's super good um, and we still have a ton of games to sell I would imagine we're probably gonna end up tripling our money if not quadrupling it once every single game sells so uh, we made our we made our money back within a few days like literally I think I listed like 40 games right off the bat and like 20 of them had sold within that week and we got our money back then and then everything that's sold since then has just put us more into the profit so super stoked about that um i tallied it up and i didn't realize we had already sold that many games out of there there were some decent games i mean there were some you know 10 15 dollar games that sold a bunch of those a uh, couple of 20 30 dollar games and then the rest was just all seven eight dollar games now keep in mind the 287 dollars and 47 cents or whatever that is gross profit uh that's not i didn't deduct shipping costs from that um on games that i didn't charge shipping on but most of the games i charged shipping on there's only a few that i didn't uh one thing i want to talk about real quick is the uh, rollo printer the rollo printer guys is amazing um it's super fast it works great i recommend uh, if you do get the roller printer you get this little stand back here because it makes everything flow kind of nicely and it just looks aesthetically nice so roller printer definitely recommend it i tried using rally roots um they have a code that you can use on the website to get like 10 percent off i tried using it but it didn't work um i sent an email to rally roots to let them know but this was only, I only paid, I think after it was all said and done, $195 for the stand, 500 labels, and the printer. 
So it's really not that bad. On the website, guys, do not buy these off of eBay. People are selling them way overpriced on eBay, like $250. On the website, I got this for under 200 bucks. All of this that you see here. I think it, I, wait, I think I'm wrong there. I think it was like $212 was the total. Actually, I don't want to lie to you guys, so give me one second. Let me look it up. I have the receipt in my email. Okay, so, sorry about that. I lied. <laughs> so the total price of the stand, the paper, and the printer was $238.12. Now the printer itself was only $179. The stack of labels was $20. And the holder was $20, bringing our subtotal to $219.97. So even that, guys, is not bad. That's really good price for such a nice label printer. Um, I think Dymo, the four, uh, 450XL Dymos run a little bit more than that on eBay used. And this is, I bought this brand new off of the website. If you just need the printer and you have labels or you know where to get labels cheaper and you might be able to find the stand cheaper somewhere else, this, the printer is $176. So well worth the money, super happy. If you get one, buy it from the website. Do not buy it off of eBay. But uh, yeah, looks like MLB The Show has loaded up over here. My PlayStation 3 has updated. I'm going to end the video there, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, also, I wanted to mention real quick before the end of the video, those of you that don't really know, I ship out every two days, so I have two days shipping. So yesterday I shipped out items, um, everything that sold from Monday and Tuesday. Today's Thursday. Friday, I'll ship out everything from Wednesday and Thursday that sold. So that's why you guys don't see me doing a what sold video every day like a lot of those guys on YouTube. I do two-day shipping. I have a normal job. Um, and I just, if I did every, shipped every day, I wouldn't be able to spend any time with my family. So I try to limit the amount of time that I spend back here in this room and on eBay. Uh, I don't want to get this to a point to where I'm not spending any time with my family. So I want to make sure that, that you guys understand that. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, like and comment. Also, if you're back from previous videos, welcome back. We're glad you came by, said hi, and um, hung out with us today. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a What Sold video in the morning. But until then, stay well, stay safe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.